Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Panasonic AG-AC30 model. Today I'm going to be talking about what is in these three boxes right here. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the user 4 button or the focus assist. The focus assist button allows you to zoom in on your object and make sure that it is in focus. The next is the focus A slash M button. This allows you to shift your focus between automatic and manual. Next is the iris button. The iris button allows you to shift from manual to automatic iris. Next is the LCD slash EVF button. This button allows you to change the display from EVF to your LCD screen. The user 2 button, or B light, allows for backlight compensation. User 3 button, or the OIS, allows you to use the optical image stabilizer. In manual mode, you will use the next three rings to adjust your focus, zoom, and your iris. This is the focus ring. This is the zoom ring, and this is the iris ring. The LED ring allows you to determine whether your camera is on or recording. If it is on, it will illuminate blue. If it is recording, it will illuminate red. If it is off, there will be no illumination. This is the menu button. Click the menu button to look at camera setup, system mode, user switch, switch setting, recording setup, audio setup, output setup, display setting, and other functions such as maintenance. This is the jog dial. It allows you to scroll through certain settings. If you, pick a, if you want to pick a setting, simply push inward the jog dial. Here is the game button. Press the game button to switch between manual gain mode and automatic gain mode. Adjust the gain by rotating the jog dial. Press the white ball button to switch to manual white balance mode. Rotate the jog dial to switch the white balance mode. 